How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today we're going to be going over the Galaxy S6 for Beginners Part 2. And in Part 2 we're just going to pick up where we left off. Uh, we've already talked about the different buttons, uh, how the buttons work and how you navigate the phone. Um, we're going to jump right into the next section which is um, widgets and apps. And so um, obviously our apps are going to be right here in our app drawer. And uh, one, of the, one of the things that people have been looking for that is currently not available is being able to reorder the apps. So, uh, or what you used to be able to do is to put them in alphabetical order or kind of change them like that. Well, you, we have lost the capability, but you can manually hit the edit button up here and you can drag. So if you are really anal about alphabetical order, you can put them in alphabetical order. It's just gonna take you a very long time to do it. So uh, anyway, to get to your widgets, you're actually gonna pinch the screen just like that. And that's gonna allow you to get to that screen or let's see, I think that's it. Yep, you're just gonna do a pinch just like this. And this is gonna allow you to do a couple of things. I'm gonna tell you the first thing, which is you, some of you are gonna love. Uh, you, if you swipe to the right, you actually can turn off the uh, Flipboard briefing. So some of you may have noticed that currently when you do swipe your phone to the right, uh, this comes up and you may say gosh, I never used that darn thing. Well, if you want to turn it off You're just gonna pinch Swipe to the right and just uncheck it and that's it and now it's turned off and now You won't go there now. Unfortunately, you can't spin through the phone um, That was a, a feature we did lose with the lollipop update, but you know, it is what it is can't change that so we're gonna pinch and We we can change our wallpapers right here. So let's say you want to change your background uh, you can tap wallpaper and we have a a list of some nice uh, preloaded wallpapers or I can go through my gallery and I can pick a picture that I've taken. So that's one thing. Um, next we do have our widgets and widgets are just kind of think of an app but being able to control it from the home screen. So um, you'll find your list of different options. So for example if you want to look at your Gmail on the home screen uh, you would just tap here and then you would hold down on Gmail and you would drag it right on the screen. I'm not gonna add it for now, but this is how you would add it. So you wanna make sure there is room. So you can't add an app or a widget to a screen where there's no place to put it. So like I'd have to add it like over here, for example. So I'm gonna pinch again. So there's our widgets. We have themes, which is a new feature of the phone, a really fun feature. And with themes, um, think of like what you would do with a launcher. A launcher is just, it's uh, an app you would normally download to get a certain look on the phone. So uh, basically, um, you don't have to be tech savvy to do that anymore. They've made it super simple by just building it into the phone. So here's an Avengers one. I'm just going to show it to you really quick here. And if I hit apply, it's literally going to take less than 30 seconds. That was probably about 15 seconds. And um, you're going to see a drastic change of the phone. So nice uh, Avengers wallpaper. All the apps are now themed just like uh, Avengers and obviously the stock apps like your phone app and internet are going to look a lot cooler and nicer. So um, and check out that notification panel. It looks beautiful in the new theme. So uh, that's a really cool thing. There is a theme store. So if we pinch, go to themes, uh, you can go to the theme store and you can come in here and Obviously, I need to update mine, and my internet's not on, so that's why I can't see it. But you can download more themes um, just by going to the store. Um, and, and right now, I say, hey, I don't want Avengers. I just want the default one. I'm going to tap on default, hit apply, and it's going to switch everything back, um, just like when you first purchased the phone. So uh, really, really fun feature right there. You're going to impress some people if you have a really fun uh, theme on there. And it's, supposedly, there's... Uh, about a hundred or there's a good number that's available right now. So let's pinch again. Another great thing you're gonna love is the screen grid. And with this, you can actually uh, take customization to the next level. Maybe you're like me and you say, hey, I wanna put more things on my home screen. You can actually change the ratio and say, hey, I want five rows and five columns. Now I have a whole extra uh, column to add uh, apps or widgets or different things like that. You may say, I'm simple, I just want four. I want a very clean look. You got four by four, or you may go how I have, which is four by four. So it's up to you how you want to do it, but this is how you control that, just by pinching and going to uh, screen grid. All right, so we've gone over that. 
And uh, the next thing we're gonna go over is uh, the camera. And I'm just gonna show you a couple of quick things you can do with the camera that wasn't available before. So to get to the camera, just double tap your home button, just like that, hit it twice, and it will bring up the camera. Make sure your finger isn't covering the screen. So now, if you wanna get to your menu options, it's a simple swipe to the right, right there. So we've got a professional mode now, the panoramic is still there, slow motion and fast motion, which has always been on the last couple of phones, but it was just hard to find. But now, uh, everything is right there. A couple of these you're not gonna find on yours. Uh, to begin with, you will have to go to download and you can download the ones that you wanna use. But um, it's just a simple swipe to the right to bring that up, just like that. Now if I swipe the other way, I can actually bring up um, my recent pictures. So this is kind of cool. Now let's say you take a picture, you're like, oh, hey, cheese. You snap it, you just swipe to the left and it automatically will take you right to that picture so you can see it. And you might say, oh, that's ugly. I want to delete it. Well, there it is. No need to wait and it's gone, okay? So that's just showing you how they've made the camera a little more intuitive. I'm gonna show you a couple of tweaks that I recommend you make just to help you really take full advantage of your phone. Go to the wheel at the top, the settings wheel. Um, turn on tracking autofocus. This is a great feature. Um, you can actually track someone. For example, if you were taking a video of a baby and the baby's moving, once you tap on the baby, it will follow it and it'll keep the baby in focus even if, uh, let's say, you're not moving but the baby's moving. So definitely turn on your tracking autofocus. Um, the next thing is uh, make sure your quick launch is on. And the quick launch is basically how you bring up the camera by double tapping the home button. So that should already be on. And finally, make sure your voice control is on. Now what this does is it allows you to take a picture by simply using your voice. All you have to do is say capture and it takes a picture just like that. You can also say shoot, cheese. So those are three of the commands. There's a fourth one and I always forget it, but those are the main three that um, I always remember. So just make sure you make those quick camera uh, changes and those will allow you to enjoy your uh, phone even better. And I think that's about it guys for uh, part two here. I uh, hope you guys find this helpful. Again, we're just trying to um, take things really slow and simple for you guys. Maybe your first time Galaxy user or you're upgrading and just wanted to really walk through all the things that the new phone can do. There actually uh, was one more thing I did wanna show you guys and I'm gonna show you really quick. So there's a new feature called pop-up apps. Uh, this is a feature that was taken from the Note 4 and you can actually have an app open without having it cover the whole screen. I'll give you an example, let's say I have Instagram open. So here's our Instagram, right? Now, um, this only works with certain apps uh, and to see if the app you want to use is available, you're going to basically open the app you want to do, close it, and then go hit your uh, recent apps button. And if you see th this little, these two little uh, rectangles, then you know this app is supported in pop-up apps. So I can actually hold down this app and have it go right over the screen just like that. And notice it's going to float so it doesn't cover the whole screen. And what I can also do is I can tap it and I can minimize it so it's still there, but it's just not covering the whole screen. So if I'm, let's say I'm in Clean Master and I'm trying to use this app to do what this app does, I can just tap on that little bubble and I can see what's going on on my Instagram without it taking over the whole screen. So really taking multitasking to the next level. So anyway, that was just a little thing I wanted to show you guys. Once again, hope you did find this video helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share it if you did find it helpful. Subscribe to HG Tech videos. Uh, Watch more S6 videos and have a good one.